experiment five, pH titration of acetic acid with sodium carbonate, conducting a Q test to see if we can uh, ignore a potential outlier. Now I don't have a data set just like the data set that you're gonna get in class, but I do have uh, nine pieces of data for moles of acid neutralized by a Tom's tablet from a separate lab that I've done. And uh, I'm gonna conduct a Q test on this set of data. Now, um, you can see that they're all pretty tightly grouped, all of my data points. These are data from nine separate students. And, um, but in order to do a Q test, you have to find uh, first the lowest point, and it looks like 0.01898 is my lowest point, and the highest point. Okay, and one of these two is going to be our potential outlier. Uh, we're not sure yet. Um, we have to find the next lowest, which I guess is right here, 0 0.1, 0 0.0197, and the next highest from the highest, 2, 2, 206, 2077, And what we're going to do is we're going to look to see what has the largest gap. And the gap is the difference between the highest and the next highest, or the lowest and the next lowest. So let's see. Let's try the gap between these two. Uh, and this is going to be an absolute value. So it doesn't, there, there's no negative or positive. So it's only the, the value they were looking for. I get, uh, so I'm going to take uh, the highest minus the lower one. So that's going to be uh, 0 0.02257 minus 0 0.02077. And I get 0 0.0018. And then My gap for my lowest is, uh, well, I'll just do it so it's positive, 0 0.0197 minus 0 0.01898. 0 0.00072, that means that I have a larger gap with my highest number, which means that 0 0.02257 is my potential outlier. So a Q test will help us to identify using a uh, Q critical value that has a 90% level of confidence that we can throw out the data point and we're reviewing the mechanics of the process. If you have any more questions about the more of the details of it, please ask your instructor. So I have my gap. Now I need my range. Range is always highest minus lowest. So I'm gonna take my highest minus my lowest point. 0 0.02257 minus 0 0.01898 and I get 0 0.00359. Now, Q data, which is, uh, is going to be gap over range, and now calculating my Q data. divided by, I get 0 0.50 with two sig figs. Now from the lab, the lab has in it the actual value of Q critical, 
which uh, Q critical is tabulated, nine evaluations, Q critical. And Q critical depends on how many uh, data points you're looking at. The more data points you're looking at, the lower the value of Q critical, and the easier it is to throw out an outlier. To have one point that you are more than 90% confident is a bad data point in this data set. So Q critical for the 0 0.44 for nine pieces of data. And in this case, Q data is greater than Q critical, which is the condition to uh, delete or ignore or neglect the one uh, outlier. It is an outlier, if you will. So 0 0.022 is an outlier. and may be ignored or neglected. You'll always do a Q-test before you do your average and standard deviation because this point means that we only have eight data points left and eight points from which to average and take a standard deviation.